So every few weeks, I like to browse through the recent news section in Seller Central to see if there's anything I need to be aware of that can affect my Amazon business. And a few significant changes caught my eye that I thought I'd share with all of you in case you're not aware of them just yet. But first, my name is Crescent. And this is our first time meeting, welcome to my channel. My passion is sharing tips and strategies on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, or especially if you've been around my channel, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. All right, so if you didn't already know, inside Seller Central, Amazon posts news and recent changes on a fairly regular basis. And it's a good idea to browse through this section at least once a month to make sure you're aware of any possible changes that can affect your Amazon business. All right, so once you log into Seller Central and you click on the recent news, you can see a list of all the new articles that have been posted by Amazon. So as you can see, as of today on June 29th, Amazon announced their new tool called the Brand Dashboard. And this is for people that have brand registry. And in order to get brand registry, you need to have registered trademark. So if you do have brand registry, this is a great tool for you to apply for and get access to. So definitely take advantage of that. And then I also noticed here that Amazon is improving the product and edit product workflow, which if you haven't already created a listing, then you wouldn't know. But if you have, you probably realize it's kind of difficult to navigate through how to add and edit your listings. So if you click on this, you can see that they're working on a new way for sellers to add and edit their listings. And it looks like it'll be um, a side-by-side -side kind of uh, user interface. So I'm excited for that. But what I wanted to show you is, if we scroll down here, uh, on June 17th, Amazon is now cracking down on listings that have invalid titles that don't follow their guidelines in terms of service, okay? You can see here that it says ASINs violating Amazon's title guidelines will be suppressed from the search, meaning no one's gonna be able to find your listing, okay? So if we click on that, you can see that Amazon's now cracking down on titles that don't meet their guidelines. So you can see here it says titles must not contain promotional keywords and phrases. Titles cannot contain non-readable characters. Title length must not exceed 200 characters. And titles must have product identifying information. So if you're not sure what the guidelines are for your listing title, I'll post a link to this page in the video description below. But you can see here that it stipulates all of the requirements for your product title, okay? And you can run through them here. So what you need to do for capitalization, uh, what letters and numbers you can use, and what kind of information you can use uh, inside the title, okay? And here's some examples here. So make sure you follow these guidelines. And it's not just the title. Your bullet points and descriptions and photos all have guidelines too. So you want to make sure that when you're creating your optimized listing that you're not violating any of these guidelines because you'll get your listing shut down. Now one pro tip I want to point out here, you can see that the length, it says 200 character maximum is a general rule. So depending on the category, it could be more or less. Now there's no specific way to find out other than just create a title and try to save it. And if the title's too long, you'll just get an error and you'll need to shorten it. So definitely maximize the space that you have. But again, if you go over and you save, it'll just give you an error and you'll have to shorten it. And again, this also applies for bullet points and the description. All right, and the second piece of news that caught my eye has to do with hazmat review. So this is the process you can encounter depending on the product that you're trying to sell and if Amazon deems that you need to go through a hazmat review process. And the whole process can take some time, especially trying to handle all of the documents. And so now Amazon has tried to streamline this entire process to make the whole thing a little bit easier and shorten the time frame required to go through this hazmat review process. And if we take a look at what it says, uh, use new Excel templates to upload all the information required to sell dangerous goods. Okay, so this is for like magnets, batteries, liquids, and stuff like that. And so your account can get flagged at any time, either while you're creating your listing, or while you're creating your shipping plan, or even sometimes after you've already been selling. So it can be a pain in the butt because you won't be able to sell until you complete the hazmat process. So Amazon's now trying to streamline that for you. So if we come over here and click on the uh, new Excel templates, so if we come over here on the right, you can see there's different uh, templates here that you can use uh, depending on your language and what it's for. So for example, if your product has a battery or is battery powered, you can click on this and download the template. And if we open it up in Excel, you can see that it's a lot simpler now because you can just type in the ASIN for your product, the product name, and the rest of the information that goes along with that product. Okay, and then once you save it, you can upload it directly right here. 
All right, the next article that caught my eye is for global selling, and especially for those sellers that want to expand into other marketplaces. So if we take a look at the news here, it says, new selling plan, reach customers in 10 countries for just $39.99 a month. So now you don't have to pay for each marketplace. This one monthly fee of $39.99 gives you access to 10 countries. You can see here that through this change, you can register to sell in North America, Europe, Japan, India, and we limit your total monthly subscription fee to just $39, okay? So if you're planning to expand your current product line into other marketplaces, definitely jump on board and take advantage of this. Now lastly, this piece of news actually came out seven or eight months ago, and I actually made a video on this back then as well, but I wanna kind of bring it up one more time because I see a lot of beginners having problems with this exact issue, and it can end up costing you a lot of money. And what this issue is, is called unplanned services. And it has to do specifically when you're shipping your products into Amazon and you're not following the inbound shipment guidelines. So back in the day, if you didn't ship in your products correctly, it would just hold up your shipment while Amazon deals with it. And so you just gotta wait until they fix the problems. But now, because it's becoming more of a common issue, Amazon is charging penalties and fees if you ship your products in and it requires any additional prep or it doesn't meet the inbound guidelines. So if we jump onto the unplanned services guidelines here, you can see that if you follow the packaging and prep requirements and the shipping and routing requirements, it enables efficient and accurate receipt and storage of your inventory, okay? But if there's problems receiving your inventory, they're now charging you fees per unit to fix these problems, okay? So for example, you didn't package your units correctly, you didn't label them correctly, or anything along those lines. You can see here on this example table that they're charging a 70 cents per unit fee to fix those problems, okay? And then if it's a shipment related issue, for example, if it's a safety related issue, like the box is overweight, like your shipment box is overweight, or if it's oversized, uh, they're hazardous of some kind, you can see that it's a per unit charge of $25. And then if you continue to ship products in with that problem, it elevates to 50 and then $75. So definitely make sure you're familiar with the inbound shipment guidelines, as well as the packaging and prep guidelines so that you ship your products in correctly and don't incur these fees. So as you can see here real quick, here's the packaging and prep requirements and it spells out exactly what you need to do to properly package each one of your units, okay, as including the labeling requirements. And here's the shipping and routing requirements. And I'll leave links to both of these in the video description below so you can browse through them yourself. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. And make sure you're proactive and check the news every couple of weeks on your own so you don't miss anything. All right, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, click that bell icon to turn on notifications. There's also a link in the video description below to our community forums, which you should totally join. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.